Now, subhanAllah, there is one man who is an enemy of the Prophet Sallallahu Allah Azza wa describes him with 10 evil traits. And this was Al-Walid ibn Mughira, a man who was very proud in the time of the Prophet Sallallahu And Allah says, do not follow kulla halafin maheen, a person who's vile and who swears a lot. Hammazin masha'in bin amin, he passes on scandals and tales. Manna'in lil khayri mu'tadin athim, someone who hinders all forms of good and puts forth all the worst forms of evil. Utullin ba'da dhali kazameen. And on top of all of that, he's callous and he's a child of adultery, Zanin. Now this man, you talk about self-awareness and what he did in Mughira, he goes to his mom and he says to his mother, he says, the God of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam just revealed the nastiest takedown of me. And he mentioned 10 qualities about me. He said, I can see how nine of them are true. But the last one I can't accept, a child of zina. And his mother tells him in that moment after the Quran was revealed that your father is actually not who you think it is. And Ibn Abbas says that his father was another man who was khabith, filthy by the name of Al-Akhnas Ibn Shuraiq. Why Allah chose out of all the negative qualities of this man to boil it down to Al-Laddul Khisam, a person who argues for the sake of arguing, a person who's always quarrelsome. No matter what happens, they have a, they have a response. They snap back at you. And the Prophet ﷺ says in the hadith in al-Sahihain, in al-Bukhari and Muslim, the person who Allah hates most is someone with this quality. You know, and someone says, let's go, I'm gonna debate with this atheist. I'm, I'm gonna be very honest with you sometimes. Some of you even bring someone, I got a non-Muslim friend I want you to talk to. You can tell when someone's arguing for the sake of arguing, and someone's interested in the truth. If they're not interested in the truth, and they're listening to you, not with the intent of considering what you have to say, but considering how they can reply to what you have to say, that person has another problem. And this is what Allah is talking about with Akhnas ibn Shuraiq, that his most hated quality to his people was he always has to have the last word. The man argues for the sake of arguing. Aladdul khisam, constant argumentation. Now connect this to the hadith that we mentioned, but in this hadith, it's even more severe. Abghadul rijal, the most hated quality to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is a person who always has to snap back, always has a response, always has a retort. That is a person who's not going to be able to grasp the truth. They will destroy their relationship with Allah and they'll destroy their relationship with the people as well. Let it go. <laughs> The Prophet ﷺ saw an authentic hadith that people that are easygoing, lenient, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, sahlan, easygoing, layinan, lenient, hayinan, they are gentle. Allah Azza wa Jal will forbid that person from the fire. In Allah, you hibbu rifqat al amri kulli. Allah Azza wa Jal loves that a person be lenient in their affairs. That it's the opposite of this trait of the hypocrites, a disagreeable type of person. It's like the man who came to Imam al-Sha'bi rahimahullah after he talked about the shaitan and warning a person from the tricks of shaitan. The only question that he came, he said, hey, what is shaitan's wife's name? He said to him, I didn't get invited to the wedding. I have no idea what, what her name was. It's irrelevant. Why are you listening to it to poke a hole so that you can find something? Because a person is into argumentation. A person is into something else. That's not who we are as believers and that's not what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves.